Welcome to growing your own food in your own backyard. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button. What I have in front of me is I'm starting seeds indoors for my spring garden. And I just wanted to give some tips on starting seeds indoors successfully. So what I am going to be starting is cherry bell beets, red Russian kale, Georgia Southern collard greens, arugula, and spinach. The first thing you want to do is test your seeds viability by pouring your seeds in a container of water. If the seeds are floating, they are not viable. Choose only those seeds that sink to the bottom. So as you can see, all of the seeds sunk to the bottom. So this is a good thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour out the water. And all of the other seeds were already tested. I like to use three inch seed containers that have more depth for better root system. So this is a three inch seed container and this here is the three inch seed container. Uh, my soil is already moderately moist and I used a Jiffy Organic, um, excuse me, I, I used a Jiffy Organic Premium Seed Starting Mix it is a natural planting, cool greenhouse quality mix. And you can pretty much get this at any garden center. The seeds that I was checking for viability is my cherry bill radishes. And I'm gonna start off planting those seeds. So these are the seeds that were at the very bottom of the container. And so the viability of those seeds have been tested. And so I'm gonna go ahead and plant them in my three inch seed container and again the reason why I choose these three inch seed containers is they have more depth for better for better root system as well as this one so now I do not want to plant my seeds too deep so I've already punched holes in each of these sections and again I don't want to plant my seeds too deep so I'm going to go ahead and start sowing I'm going to put about two seeds in each of the holes that I've already punched a hole in or I should say pre-made and I'm doing two seeds per hole. Keep in mind seeds planted too deeply are less likely to germinate or sprout. The rule of thumb for planting seeds is to use twice the seed width or diameter. Oops. So I'm going to go try to get all these seeds in here. I'm trying to make sure I get two in at a time. All right, there you have it. All right, so I'm just going to gently brush the soil right on top. And again, the seeds were planted twice the seed width or diameter.
All right, so I have it all covered. Again, these are cherry bell radishes. So what I'm gonna uh, do next is I'm watering with the fine mist. And the reason why I do this is so that I don't wash away the top soil. And again, the soil was already pre-moistened. So now I'm just going to mist the top. Okay. One thing you do want to remember is to keep the seed bed moist and never allow it to dry out. Once your seedling emerges, you want to have good lighting. I'm using a T5 grow light system that has given me the proper brightness, daylight spectrums, and efficiencies that need to stimulate plant growth from the seeding stage and stay in peak condition. Keep your light on for 12 to 14 hours a day. Plugging your light into an automatic timer will give you one less thing to think about. So this is what I have done. This is, these T5 grow lights are on an automatic timer. An ideal daylight spectrum is necessary for plant growth from the seeding stage to indoor growing and gardening. So I have used my T5 grow light to overwinter a lot of my plants and I'm also using it to start my seeds indoors. Now your tray should be about 18 inches from your grow light. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this one out of the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and move this one up. And then the pink one that I just removed, I'm gonna also elevate this tray so that my next seed tray, I will also have it 18 inches from uh, my T5 grow light. So this is my T5 grow light system. Again, I'm sowing seeds to st uh, start my uh, spring gardening. And I just wanted to share with you my start in late February for starting my seeds indoors and just give you tips on how to be successful in germinating um, seeds as well as getting those seedlings to be very healthy and strong and not leggy. So thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.